guys welcome back to my channel I'm Kiara Nicole and in today's video I will be showing you a hairstyle using clip-in extensions the clip-ins that I'm using today are from her given hair so when I do my clip-ins I like to install them in top of my hair instead of weaving them throughout um, my natural hair so what I did was I plaited my hair into six braids and I just pinned them down using bobby pins. Um, so this part of my hair is going to be my leave out. Um, it's gonna be the hair that I'm going to blend with the extensions. So you want to co-wash the hair before you install it on your head. Um, personally, when I style my clip-ins, I like to style them off of my head um, and let them dry and then attach them to my head but for demonstration purposes today i'm going to clip one of the clips in my hair and show you how i style it so for this hair you can either use gel or mousse today i'm going to be using gel on my hair um, and the gel that i'm going to be using is the wetline extreme gel and I'm also going to be using um, the Nine Row Demon Brush to brush the curls. Um, I find that the Demon Brush clumps the curls a little bit differently than if you were to just finger style the hair. Because my natural hair is high shrinkage, I find that using the Demon Brush on this hair helps to mimic my hair more. So I'm going to be using the Wet Lime and Stream Gel and the Demon Brush to style this hair. So you just open the clip and then press it down to secure it to your hair. So I went and added some more water to the hair. Um, it had got a little bit dry. Um, so I'm going to apply the wet line extreme gel. And I'm not going to be using a lot of gel, about this amount maybe. As you can see, the hair is getting more defined. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Demon brush and brush through the hair. And as you can see, the hair starts to create these little ringlets. This is another reason why I like to do it off my hair because the brushing sometimes is just too much to do with the clippings on your head. So I just find it easier to do it off my head. So you just brush it until you get the curls the way you want. So here's a close-up of how the curls look after you brush them. And they'll shrink more once, once they dry. So after you're, you styled your hair and let it dry, it's time to install the clips in your hair. Um, there's really not a right way to do it. I feel like I put them in differently every time I install these clip-ins. I like to start in the front of my head um, just to make sure that the area around my leave out is going to be in, you know, in the right place because that's like the most important part to cover. I'm using the five clip in the front of my hair. So I'm just going to install this around my section with the leave out. 
And if you put them in wrong, well, it doesn't work where you put them. You can always take it out and adjust it and find a better position for them. Which is a thing I like about clippings. You can really get different styles with it. So I'm just going to try to play around with the placement of these clips to see exactly where I want to put them to get the shape that I want. Um, so I'll show you guys when I come back. I finish installing the hair. Um, and honestly, guys, I only use one set of the clippings. Um, it really comes down to, um, you know, personal preference. Some people like really, really big hair. Um, me personally, I, I like to kind of mimic the density of my own hair in a way. Um, and plus I find that using the dimming brush, um, it shrinks the curls. So it also, that way creates more volume in itself. I cut one of the clips, one of the wefts in the back just so that I can try kind of get this like even shape around. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna turn around to try to show you how it looks. So you can also create more volume in the hair. Um, by using one of these combs or a pick or whatever you have. Um, I like to kind of pick like the, the top of the hair especially um, because when I go to style my own hair, my hair is not as defined as this hair per se. So I find that creating a little bit of frizz at the roots and fluffing it out a little bit helps to kind of help my hair blend even better. So I kind of just take the comb and just like fluff out just the top portion. And you can do this after you style your hair, your, your leave out too. But I find it helpful to do it too so you won't disrupt your hair too much. Um, so that's just another tip that I have. I just try to fluff it out. It's really a game of matching the frizziness when it's time to blend. So um, that's what I usually do. So when I define my hair or do a wash and go on my hair, I always do my hair, define my hair on dry or close to dry hair. Um, I know a lot of people say to use, uh, define your hair on soaking wet hair, but I just find for my hair, um, it defines better and it has a better hold if I do it on dry hair. So for my leave out, I'm going to be using the Argon Oil Eco Styler Gel. Um, I don't have much left, so I might end up using some of the wet line gel as well. Okay, so I'm going to take the Eco Styler Gel and I'm just going to apply it to my hair. Just want to make sure you get the roots as well. That's what it's looking like right now. Um, maybe I can do a video showing how I do my wash and go like completely on my hair because you'll be surprised that 
for a long time the front of my hair wouldn't even really curl like it would be very hard to even get those kind of curls defined um so i think i learned a lot throughout my natural hair journey um techniques and you know what works for me Here's what it's looking like so far. Um, so I'll come back after my hair is dry. Hey guys, so these are my final results. Um, I went ahead and also did my edges. I just feel like style is not complete until you lay your edges. This is definitely going to be my go-to style for a while. It's pretty simple. Um, it's like I'm wearing my own hair, but I'm not. And then I can kind of come in and out of it. I can just take it out if I want to and I want to wash my hair. You can also like pull it back behind your ears. Um, you can do different styles with clip-ins. I definitely like to do clip-ins because I feel like you get a lot of versatility with the hair and you can do different styles. You can wear it in a ponytail. You, you can basically probably get any hairstyle you want. I only ended up using one set of the Corley clip-ins and this is in the length 16. This for me is enough volume for my hair. Um, like I said, when you use the dimming brush, it kind of shrinks the curls somewhat. So I find that I get the right volume and, and, and density. This is definitely a good style to try if you're a natural girl and want to like put your hair away for a little bit and still rock your natural curls in a way. Um, so I definitely going to be wearing this style more often. I think it looks natural. Most people think it's my real hair. Um, so that's a bigger plus. So if you have any questions about this hair or how I styled it, um, you want to see more styles I do with this hair, just um, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>